Okay, so today I'm just gonna do a quick modeling tutorial like type guide kind of thing. And this is very specific to kind of skating, transition, whatnot. And I'm basically just gonna show you how you can bridge this curved quarter pipe into this bank here smoothly and with good topology. So I'm gonna show you two different ways. So the first way is kind of quicker and doesn't really have the best topology but I'll just show you that right now and the second way has smoother topology but takes a bit longer to do so the first way is you're just gonna select this edge by alt clicking it make sure in your edge select mode extrude it out to the end using a vertex snap to snap it all the way to the end and then you want to extrude this edge once again going all the way to the edge and you want to have this intersection here so you're going to select this face and you can just do F3 and type in intersect and you want to have intersect knife and you're just going to click that and that is going to make the cut and then you can just select these edges using control click to bridge select and you can delete your faces and here you go, you have this um, this quarter pipe here. And, you know, it works, but the topology isn't great because you have this end going here that's this awkward shape and it kind of is hard to add the loop cuts going in because it gets kind of skinny, but yeah, so this way I will show you kind of a better way to do it, what I would do. So you're going to start doing the same thing and extrude just like you did last time. And now I'm just going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 edges. And so I'm going to add here 9 loop cuts. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the entire edge doing alt click on the edge. So that selects both parts. And you're just going to double click G. And you're just going to slide it down to line it up. Now it doesn't have to be accurate. I mean, it should be accurate, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So you're just going to keep doing that for all these like this. Just the last one now. And so now you see we have these uh, these edges that kind of line up here and are forming these corners. So what you're wanting to do, just like last time, you can select either this face, doesn't matter, or this face. And you're going to do F3. And then... Obviously, you're going to go intersect knife, and that's going to cut it just like that. And you can go delete these excess faces using left control click to bridge select. And then once those faces are gone, so you want to select the entire mesh, select the whole thing, type F3, merge by distance, and then you'll see something at the bottom where you move 40 vertices. Just kind of play with this little sensitivity here merge by distance so the higher it goes up the further it will merge vertices apart but for me it's good and if i go any more up it distorts the shape at the bottom so we'll just leave it at that and then now i'm gonna go and delete this edge and so we are able to bevel this smoothly i'm going to use this trick i like to do where you add an edge loop slide it all the way to the end and then use the move command to slide it back a bit so you get this perfect kind of outline that's the same width all throughout you can see like that and now just like this you have this perfect topology transition and this edge here that bevels and so you can see just like that we have this perfect transition with perfect topology no end gones except this one try here everything else is quads and this edge here bevels perfectly no artifacts it just gives you this perfect transition with this smooth topology here you can even bevel this make it perfectly smooth just like that perfect shape not too hard perfect topology there you go